Hello and welcome to Learn System View in 5 minutes. This is tutorial 8, and in this tutorial, we will extend our learning to perform vector modulation analysis using instrument based software called as VSA Vector Signal Analyzer inside System View. Now, for VSA to be working with System View, there is an additional software which you need to install. It's called VSA or commonly referred as 89600 in an in outside world. So once we have the VSA installed on our machine, we can use it to analyze the digital demodulation properties, uh, you know, ranging from a generic a digital modulation, which may be working on a 3G, 5G, radar, 4G, any kind of signal. So VSA is just a, just a terrific piece of software because it's used with a lot of key site instruments and the same software can be used inside system view without it, you having to have the whole instrument. You could just use the software. To, to understand this, let me deactivate the digital demod block which we were using. So to temporarily disable any block in system view, we could use this disable to open or disable to short so that you don't need to delete and replace the component. For example, if I want to check the quality of my system by shorting out these filters, I can go ahead and even short out. Now, this is nothing to do with VSA, but I thought it is a good feature for you to know that, you know, placing that VSA component here. So let's, let's go to category all and search for VSA. And here you have two components in VSA. You can notice there is a sync component and there is a source component. That means if we want to analyze any waveform from our design, we can send it from system view to VSA for analysis. But if you are connected to any hardware and you want to read the hardware waveform inside system view, then we can link to that hardware using this VSA source but we will reserve this for some future videos. So right now, once we connect the VSA sync into system view at the place where we want to analyze the data, again, by double clicking on it, we can switch the continuous mode to yes. And once the continuous mode is set to yes, when we run simulation and we have VSA installed and we do have appropriate license to use it, Notice system view recognizes there's a VSA sync on our design. Now it will go ahead and launch the VSA for analysis. So we'll wait for a few seconds till VSA comes up. Now the VSA window is up and now you can see the simulation is running continuously here and the data is being displayed by the VSA software. Now this here, you will get look and feel as if you are doing any hardware measurement. Now using the normal VSA, we can go to measurement setup, measurement type, and we could use a general purpose DMODs. We do have all the cellular standards as you might, as you might need for LTE, LTE advanced, 5G, NR. Also for radar people, it has an incredible features to do pulse analysis, FMCW analysis, and so on. So right now we'll go ahead with general purpose digital DMOD. So once we switch on the DMOD, we can again go to the same menu under digital DMOD properties, we will go ahead and pick the right demodulation engine, which is QPSK, and we will use five megahertz of symbol rate. Now again, because this is a measurement grade software, it has a lot of these features to do you know, pulse searching, sync searching, you could even put a equalization filter, especially if you're applying this sync after your AWGN or faded noise signal and so on. So right now we have all the characters shown by VSA in terms of the constellation trajectory, also the spectrum. We can switch on multiple modes. Uh, so let me set it to create two by two. And here we can also see all the you know, figure of merit as needed for our modulator, you know, uh, performance checking. Now VSA, it's too short video to explain all the great capabilities of VSA, but in case you want to use, go ahead and, and try out, you know, VSA software. Now, remember we had, you know, some distortion done there. So let me go ahead and make the distortion again to zero, zero. 
we run the simulation again and now you can see the performance is rock steady and the measurement shown here and let me pause this the measurement shown by VSA is pretty much aligned to whatever real-time digital DMOD was showing in system view. So if you have never used VSA, I would encourage you to go out and contact your key site support person, get evaluation license of VSA and give it a try to be used with system view. I'm sure you will love it. Well, thanks for watching this video. Have a good time designing your systems and see you in next video.